Take my shit off, man. All right, we can't we can't go through the tolls. So we taking the plate off. On as soon as we get right, yeah, we get right. Yeah, we gotta. Hide your face. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the plate off. Yeah, we're gonna have to take the plate from silver screen Take a look at this, oh my god. The back is broken. Her water broke. You're gonna get a lot of haters. Everyone has their own opinion and that's part of the stance game. You just have to, you know, it's down to what you want. All about you. If you go and go to CVS somewhere and you don't turn around and look back at your car, why the hell you do shit to it? We were coming back from Winter Jam, which was in Daytona, from a car show. I was riding with uh, my buddy Jersey and he just gets up to me. He's like, dude, I have no oil pressure. Like my, my clusters keep going crazy. I'm like, okay, let's just stop. So we stop and then you pull back the car all everywhere. Like, what the hell do you have a skate plate? How, how did that happen? So. We took his seatbelt from his backseat, cut it up, tied my car to his car, drove from 95 to Orlando. We get to the shop, we look on the car. What's that animal that has a hard shell? Right under it, the whole skip layer and then just destroy the, the oil pump and everything. That's a risk that you take being so like you can start hitting stuff and you don't know how you can break them. I get it from my dad a lot. I hear it from him all the time. You're ruining the car, this, that, blah, blah, blah. But that kind of motivates me more because, you know, he knows, he likes what I'm doing to the car. You know what I'm saying? You're right, it's an older car. I bet you, you bring a nigga with like a good paint job and I wash my shit, my shit look kind of better than that. You know what I mean? I used to watch videos. I just used to type in like Super HD or like S2000 HD. My name is Lafayette Brito, originally from Brazil, and I'm a freelance photographer. To me, there's various meanings to it. It just depends how you, how you look at it. To some people, it's a super stretch wheel, you know, all cambered out. Or it can be a race stance where you have a square setup, meaty tires, ready to hit the track. So to me, either way, the car stands, you know, looks good. Everybody's got their own taste. Essentially, your airbag system works pretty simple. It's just a shock with a bag in it that you have a compressor in the back that runs air to them. You press a button, puts the pressure to wherever height you want you on the car. So if you want it to the ground, Take all the air out. If you want it all up in the air, just put all the air back in the bag. The passengers are like, they're like, what the heck? Like, how do you drive like this? It's funny the reaction, but um, the lower you get, it makes the car look way much better. 
I mean, the, don't don't get me wrong. There's still a couple of times that I, I I get pretty scared when, especially when I hit a bridge and all I hear is scraping. I'm like, okay, that goes my open. My name is Gonu Lee from South Korea, and I'm part of Slam District. Slammed, it just talks about a low car on the floor. I mean, pebble sweeping, how I see it, kissing the floor at all times, that's what I see slammed. I see it just as a family, a term of family for us. I mean, this is our district, our area. I moved here to study English alone. One day, I went to the car meet. It was, a, it was like random as car meet. And I met a cabin, and I was a car guy, and his car was nice. Every time I need something, Kevin helps me. At first, I, I don't even know how to check up my car or take up wheels. But Kevin started to letting me know everything. When I first met Lee, he didn't really speak English. Like, he was scared to talk, I mean, very shy. And I went up to him and I was like, hey, what's up? I was like, I like your car. I mean, it was stock, stock height. He saw mine, he really loved it. He's like, what did you do? How did you do it? And I was like, I'll help you out. We actually became really close friends. One of my best friends, to be honest. I never knew that I could build my dance car, and he helped a lot. One day, I went to Neurotech, and I saw Slam District booth, and I was like, damn. Uh, someday, I want to be like them. We both have ideas. With Lee's car, we just wanted to make clean, simple car. I mean, people just look at it and be like, wow, it's nice and clean. Sometimes my ideas are a little bit crazy because I like to push the limits. That's probably have a lot of haters. If they're hating, I mean, you're doing something right. I love all cars, no matter what it is. I mean, I love everything. Everybody's got a different taste. You can put two different, completely different people with the same exact car, and the cars are not going to look the same. I like to look at the details. I mean, I, my eye goes straight to like wheels, brakes behind the wheels, how low the car is sitting on the ground, how low the exhaust, how much how much room do I have between the bottom lip and the and the asphalt, or where I'm at. I like sometimes going out to car shows and just seeing like if I can get my finger under the lip of the car. To me, that's kind of cool. We also blog. We're on Instagram, on Facebook. And because of it, we meet a lot of people. I mean, other people in other parts of the world, different states, we get to meet them finally. We've always seen their car, but we never met the person. I've met people from Miami, South Florida, all the way out to California. And it's great to just be able to go anywhere, honestly, anywhere in the US, and you'll find somebody you'll know because of the car scene. We have the same interests, something we love. I mean, they, they really admire your work and you admire theirs. Still, my English is bad and I got a lot of friends and people are kind and they don't care about my English. Just being yourself. Don't be scared, just make it happen. Set standards, just represent quality. Just live long and ride low. <laughs>